Hi and welcome back to Dora Beauty. Today we have a favourites for you. Our last favourites was filmed in October. No. Was it? <laughs> we don't know when it was. It was it a while was ago. A while ago. So these are going to be our favourites from 2015 so far. Probably call it March favourites though, won't we? Yeah. Bit of just because favourites. Just because yeah. March has just finished, so. And can we just okay. like see how pale I am and just apologise? Yeah. I can't wipe my hands in! I need to start using one of my favourites. Oh yeah, you'll see what it is later. Oh, better keep watching. <laughs> um, and excuse me, excuse my ginger hair. Sorry, I just have to apologise for my appearance you today. Apologise for your hair, Lucy. Be proud of it. But I gotta apologise for my tan <laughs> or lack of it. First favourites are the Rimmel London nail varnishes. This one is the Rita Ora. I've got to try and say this again now. It's either Go Wild Ernest or Go Wild Ernest. It is Wild Ernest. I think it should be wild, yeah. You'd presume it would be wild. Because like, why would it be wilderness? It should be green if it's wilderness. But, yeah. yeah Rita. <laughs> it's a, a really nice spring summer colour, basically. This I think this is like 2 99 this one. And then these two are the matte, like, love heart. I nearly said the wrong thing there. Like, the love heart sort of kind of ones. And they're... Did I, I've already said that they're matte, haven't I? Damn they it. are matte, guys. They, they are, are matte. matte. <laughs> Yeah, and they look like this. And um, this one, oh, focus, Love Bug. And number three, Cheeky Chat, which love is what bug. I have on now. I was waiting for you to say that last time. I was I like, well, make a joke about it. Um, yeah, I just like both of these. And they are, they're probably the best um, matte nail varnishes that I've ever had. Because I wore this one for two days before it started to chip. And then I've been wearing this one this morning and it hasn't chipped so far, which... They normally do chip in about 10 minutes, don't they? So, great. Alright, so my first one is this. It's the MAC Paint Pot. This is painterly, but I'm talking about this product overall, like whatever colour you use, because I presume they're all going to be the same. Um, basically, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it there's hardly... There's hardly any gone. Oh, actually, there it is. You've but done this before. <laughs> I, I get it the wrong way round. There's still quite a lot left, and we got this in October. Um, so it shows, and I use this every single day, whether I'm wearing eye makeup or not. I just use it to like um, as the base because it doesn't let your eye makeup crease or move or anything. Like everything you want in in an eye product, this is it. So, well done, Mac. Nice dick. I, I should probably take it out of the box now because the box is getting a little bit dirty. Yeah, it's the it's this one basically. I'm not entirely sure how to say it. But yeah, basically this is just like really good. It was sixteen pounds. You can get it from Boots. I haven't actually used that much. You literally just use like the tiniest bit and then it rubs in so well. It's Dynamic amazing. hydration, rich cream, allergy tested. And does it work? I think so. But I am. I'm gonna get the uh, Bobbi Brown. Um, foundation it's kind of like a foundation anyway because I was watching Lisa Eldridge's video on like makeup for dry skin and she said that that one was really really good so I think maybe if I use it with the right foundation it'll be like amazing but at the moment it's just like good like really good but it has it has potential okay the way I like to look at it go on beachy okay so the next one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Mattifying Infallible Foundation. Oh wait. <laughs> I can't believe you like this. I've heard really bad things about that. I got it in vanilla. Because that's the colour, by the way. Um, <laughs> this, they've just got the flavour vanilla. I have to admit, I haven't been wearing this one. I When I first got it, I loved it. And I still do. But I don't know why I've changed. I just have. Um, but I, I personally think it lasts for ages. It does give a really... Matte look. Look at that so I can carry on looking at it. The texture says it's medium, coverage is high. I would agree with this as well. And the finish is matte. I would I would agree with all of those. The coverage is quite high, I think. Um but I wouldn't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know why I just wouldn't. I because I prefer a more dewy look. But I do still really like it. So yeah. Go on L'Oreal. I want to try that Ooh. primer that goes with this. Yeah. I feel like it would just really work. And the, the setting spray. Yeah. I can't believe we really? don't have that yet. Yeah. I tweeted L'Oreal, they didn't tweet me back. <laughs> Rude. 
I said it needs, it needs to be available in the UK. I always see it in like Tarty's videos. Mm. Oh, I want it so bad. Okay, this next one is the... Um, oh, good job. I don't want to throw the packaging away for this just because I really like gold packaging. Um, it's the YSL... How do you say it? Like, Touche Cla? That thing? Yeah, that one. That one. It's the highlighter. And it just has like the nicest glitter. It just like... Can you see the glitter? I can see the glitter. Just like, like shimmer. It's really nice because you're wearing a nice shimmer. I haven't got it on today though, actually. Radiant touch or rose. <laughs> Did you wear that? Does it, make it, does it make you glow? Yes. I like it. I like to use it on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose and here and here. But then so I like to your use... Face. No, it's here. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't like it on the cheeks as much. But I like it sort of like on like the proper high points. I know cool. these are high points too, but still. And I really like the packaging, and I really like how you just click it. I don't want to click it though, because then the product will come out. But yeah. But um, she likes to click it. But I do like to click it. <laughs> Shut yeah. up! You're not bullying me! Okay, so my next favourite is the Hugo Boss perfume. Do you know which one this is? But basically, I've had this for ages. Oh, it just smells so like. Oh really? Like, it's not floral or anything, it's just floral. really deep. Do you mean floral? That's what I said. I thought you said floral. No, floral. Damn it. Um, it's just really like, I think kind of like musky, kind of like deep, old, classic kind of perfume. And you, I literally spray one on my wrist and two on just the little. area. Just little spritz. <laughs> and it lasts all day. And I've had quite a few compliments on this so. Yeah, but I like that and I've been using it a lot recently, okay. so... I'm going to stick on your perfume theme. Perfume and vibe. the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream one. Oh, I didn't even notice that was like a mirror. Got lots of mirror products. Um, I just really like this. I think the packaging is like the prettiest packaging yeah, it is. ever. Like ever. Oh, ever. It's starting to move though. So, and I wear this all the time. I wish I had a smaller one though. I think we need to get one of those little like travel ones. I'm gonna be wearing that a lot this year. Go Mark Jacobs. Okay, so my next one is We're at it, finally, we can find out why. Something about your turn. Yes. Uh okay, so this is the Shut Up Train. Okay, right. This is the Dove Summer Glow Nourishing Lotion with a subtle gradual self tanner. Subtle it is gradual, but I used this all last summer. I used this before I go away and actually get a tan. Um, so usually like spring, beginning of summer. Um, and I used this last year and I used it kind of like every night before I went to bed. And all of a sudden, after like about four days, I just suddenly came. It wasn't orange or anything, it's like a really nice glowing tan. But I hadn't been anywhere. People were like, have you been away? I was like, <laughs> nope. It just, it just got this tan from nowhere, from the Dove bottle. Um, so I do really like this, but now I'm only using it kind of every other day. Um, but I've only used this twice this year. I'm getting there. I need to catch up with you. <laughs> I don't know it looks so pale. And you can use this on your face and everything. Um, and I didn't come out in a rash. I think I might so. actually get that one. Because I used to have the Garnier one, it and says, it was too orange for me. So uh, It says number one gradual self tan body lotion in the UK. So I think it's really nice. It does smell quite biscuity, you know that big time smell. Yeah, Rebecca turned around to me the other day and she went, I can smell you, you smell like biscuits. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. It does smell like that, but use a moisturiser. You can't really get away from that, can you? I no. don't understand, why can't they change the scent of it? I don't know. But I don't think it's a bad scent, but it's just, it is the big time But you know scent. that it's there, don't yeah. you? And that's the thing about it. So, this kind of goes with the highlighter. It's the Solar powder greatest glow on earth by um what they call it soap and glory yeah soap and glory thank you and i'm not really a fan of the bronzer i'm not gonna lie i prefer um benefit Why? hula bronzer this one's it's too like orangey for me like can you see yeah. yeah it's too orangey for me but this is the highlighter that i use on my forehead you can't really see so no not my forehead my cheekbones yeah that's where I use that one. Okay. I just really like that. It's got like a nice 
It's kind of like bronzy shimmer. Hang on, can you see it? No, because the lighting is already <laughs> shining on my hand. But still, um, really like it. And it's like nine pounds or something. So and it's got quite a lot in it and a good side mirror. So oh, do you know I really want to try the MUA. It's like it's a blusher, but you can use it easily as a highlighter. It's like a champagne kind of colour. Really? really want to try that. Yeah, it's like three or four pound. Obviously, it's MUA. Okay, so my last makeup favourite is the Barry M Jelly High Shine Lips Crayon thing. And yes, Ooh, that was a good noise. It's disgusting, like all my products are. <laughs> Every single one of my makeup items is disgusting. That's very true. Um, this, Anna Ciccone used it in a vlog, and I like, I really liked it because it's kind of like a brownie nude, and that's my favourite kind of nude. Um, yeah, you do rank. like a good brownie nude, don't you? Yeah. Um, and so I went out and bought it, and I love it. It lasts for ages, and even when the majority is gone, it leaves a stain. So it still leaves a really nice colour, and they do a really wide range of colours, so I'm going to go back and get some more. Because it's worth it. I really like them. So there I am. Talking of worth it, my last favourite is a CD. Now, this isn't actually out in the UK yet, but I... Give it to me, I'm worth it. Okay, yeah. But um, I got it anyway because I couldn't really wait any longer. Because we can't get it on iTunes. So I bought the physical uh, copy. Yeah. Great, thank you. Kind of just like Ali then. Um, I just love the album. Like it's it's different to like what girl bands have been doing recently. I think I'd like it. It's more of like it's like a pop R and B album rather than it just being like straight up pop or like anything else. It's sort of like yeah, it's got some good songs on it. Okay, okay so my next one is a shampoo and conditioner, and it's by Herbal Essence. It is the Nourish Me Butter. <laughs> Nourish me butter. <laughs> Nourishing shampoo with Kapukaku <laughs> Kapuaku butter scent. It Kapuaku. smells freaking amazing. Smell it. Oh, it does. That's a good. That's good. That oh, that's a good scent. That's a good one. one. That's a good that's one. Good. Um, my friend actually got this, and she was like, "You need to try it." And I was like, "Okay, this nourish me butter is something that I probably like." So I went out and got them. And oh my god, when you lather it in the shower, I literally I want to keep lathering. <laughs> I just want to I lather. keep lathering. I want to lather all day long. Like, it just smells amazing. It gives your hair so much volume, and don't look at my hair right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was like, really? Um, like, if you like blow dry it straight away and not just leave it to dry like me. Um, and it leaves your hair feeling so soft, it's unbelievable. This is like my new Holy Grail hair product like seriously i haven't used her blessings for ages um but now i'm so on it you should try it like a car bonnet okay so that's the end of our march favorites hope you enjoyed our favorites because they're our favorite favorite these are our favorite <laughs> things our favorite ever i just like come this close okay that's... so thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time bye